Hey guys, it's Susie. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through setting up a waitlist page in Kajabi. First of all, what is a waitlist page? Well, you want to be promoting your product, whatever it is, a course or a membership, before you actually sell it. So a waitlist page gives your audience a place to go and sign up and then be notified when your cart actually opens. Likewise, if you're running a live launch model, chances are you're only actually selling for somewhere between 7 and 14 days. So you want people who miss the opportunity during this launch to be able to sign up, then be notified when it gets closer to your next launch. So today I'm going to show you my Trello template. If you click the link below this video, you'll be able to access that template. You can save it to your account and you can reuse it every time you launch any sort of product. So let's get started. So once you click that link below the video, it'll take you here. You'll be able to create board from template. So this list is now on its own board. If you want to move the waitlist page list to a different board, You'll click the three buttons, then move list. You can select whatever board you want, then move it. Then this board, you can actually just delete. So I moved that list to my own launch board that I already had. Then you can add lists to this board for all the other tasks that you have associated with your launch. The first thing that you should do is click into this card and assign yourself due dates for all of these tasks. So you want to create your waitlist page before you start promoting your course or your membership site at all. So you'll go in here and you'll give yourself a due date of some time before you plan to start promoting. There are going to be two things that you have to do after um, and those will say post launch. You'll assign yourself a due date of when your cart closes so that you can redirect people as soon as your cart closes to back to your membership page away from your sales page. So the other thing that Trello can do is that you have these labels on your carts and the two labels that I've already created are to do and completed. So you can, as you complete these tasks, uncheck to do and check completed. That just gives you a quick visual way of seeing what you've already done and what still needs to be done. You can also create labels for other things, other statuses, such as in progress. You can create whatever labels you want that'll help you keep track of your project. So the first thing that we're gonna do in Kajabi is create a cart open event. Within Kajabi, you're going to go to Marketing, Events, and click to add a new event. You'll give it a title, of Cart Open, and then enter the date that your cart opens. You're then going to schedule some emails that will go to the people who sign up for your waitlist. The first email that's going to go out is going to be at time of registration. This is the only email that's triggered by an action that they take. And you can say something like, you're on the list, welcome. We'll let you know more information later. Then you can add a couple more emails. I'd suggest adding one about a week before your cart opens. If you select before the event, the event is that cart open date that you scheduled. And you can schedule an email at time of event. This will go out when your cart opens. And that would be the one with a link to the sales page. You can create as many emails as you want. It really depends on how far out from your cart open date you actually are. The next step is we're going to create a pre-launch form in Kajabi. Again, you're going to go to Marketing, Forms, New Form. And I would create it, call it Course Waitlist, and give it a date of which launch you're talking about. I don't send that double opt-in, but that's up to you. 
Really the only fields you need are name and email address. You're gonna create an automation. When that form is submitted, you're gonna add a tag to them. And the second automation, when the form is submitted, you're going to register them to an event, that event being cart open that you already created. So the next step in Kajabi is to set up a waitlist page. You can go to new page in Kajabi. And if you're starting from scratch, you can use the streamlined opt-in. If you already have a page that you like the look of, you can clone it. The only thing that really matters is that you have a section, form and text. So in the text section, you can add some information about your course or your membership. And in the form section, you'll select that form that we just created. So I already have one here, I added some text. And then in the form field, I will select that form that we just made. And then you can change the text above the form, be whatever you want. The next thing you're gonna do in Kajabi is create a post launch form. This is gonna be for after sales close if you have people who are interested and wanna sign up for the next launch. So you're gonna to go to marketing, forms, and create a new form. and you'll give it the date of when you expect to launch again. This is just gonna be like the last one. Same thing, you just need the name and email fields. For this one, I'm gonna create an automation to tag them, and I'm gonna create a tag that's specific to that launch, so I can keep them separate from my previous launch. We're not going to register them to an event at this point. It's too far out and that's something that you can do closer to the date. The next two steps happen right after cart close. First, you're going to change the form on your waitlist page. So you can open up your waitlist page and you'll go into the form section and you will deselect the current one and you'll select the form for the future launch that you just set up. Next, you'll redirect the call to action on your sales page. So you'll open up your sales page and you can change the text instead of selling the course or membership. You'll say something like, we're not open right now um, and tell them when you anticipate the next launch. You'll open up your call to action button and instead of something like buy now, you'll say sign up for the wait list. And then that button action, instead of going to a checkout page, you'll direct to a landing page and select your wait list page. So that's it. That's creating a wait list page in Kajabi. It's not really complicated and it's a good way of gauging interest in your product and keeping those people, those warm leads really involved. So if you have any questions, you can email me, Susie at SusieHines.com. And I hope this was helpful. Thanks.